Okay, it is uh, Monday at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, April, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> April Fools! April, April 1st. And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to uh, open the meeting of the Board of Health. Douglas. Sorry, I had to go home and I didn't get out till 4 30. It's okay, you're fine. Okay. Okay, first on the agenda, you are up. Oh, I'm a little nervous. Um, I know everyone knows me. I wasn't here that long ago. I've been at the um, now Easy Mart for over 30 years. Um, I'm going to think it was in February that was it you that came in yeah okay. so so usually in a hearing to um we tell what happened and oh then they, i thought he told it, me no, to no, come it's first. fine it's fine no, i just want to okay. make sure no we're no following. no no you go ahead okay. i thought go right ahead okay sorry yeah yeah um so this is our first time meeting nice to, nice meet, to you. meet you we've Very spoken nice multiple you. times over the phone um so i'm just going to say i'm joan hamlet and i'm the director of the boards of health tobacco control alliance which douglas joined um, June of 2020 and mm -hmm. when we're participating in any activity in Douglas we are your Douglas tobacco control agent um, and we started off um, doing tobacco education and inspections in your store from an education perspective and then we moved into compliance checks so we do a combination of educational inspections every year and a combination of compliance checks every year to make sure that everybody's complying um, I, I know um, when I first met you, it was on Zoom back during COVID, so I just wanted to <laughs> just do a quick refresher so in case there's a different member here from when we were first introduced. Um, so what I have for the board, and I do, I have a copy for you too, Thank you. Um, is um, we had a violation on February 10th, and it's a product called Gold Fusion, and this is... Um, in this letter is the it's the retail letter that went out September 19th 2022 we sent this out to retailers by email on file mailing address on file and then between September end of September in the beginning of November we hand delivered it to every retailer and had the retailers sign that they received it and in the first third fourth paragraph that's highlighted you can see that we notified the retailers that they can't have gold fusion um, in the fourth paragraph down. The second page, um, which you have, Tonya, is um, the FY23 retail education packet, which contains this, this letter gets edited every year. Mm -hmm. um, so we have the packet that shows, um, and it looks like, uh, Tonya, you signed for the packet. So every year in the retail ed visit, we bring a packet and it's anywhere from 10 to 14 pages as we've discussed. And um, it outlines, there's two letters to start and then it outlines all their responsibilities and a reminder, anything new that comes up with state law. Mm -hmm. So um, this letter went out on the 22nd and the store signed that they received it. This is the first time that we eliminated Fusion because Dutch Master Fusion was on the li the manufacturer's list of not being flavored. We took those products and we did a testing protocol and found them to be flavored. So we don't find the retailers on that. We notify them they've been found to be flavored. And from this point on, if we find them in your store, it's a violation. And then on the back page of this is the visit on, in 2024 where we delivered the 2000 uh, fiscal 24 packet. Tonya was there and this is when we found the fusion so in between the fusion was removed and in this visit it was back um, in the store um, and then I just have a copy um, here's an example of this year's retail ad I double-sided it um, and I'm gonna leave this here for the for the board um, but this is an example of the retail ad packet that we give every single year to the retailers in person and we in the retail visit we go over it with them and answer any questions and then we make ourselves available by email zoom come back to talk to employees or they can call me directly um tony has called me on our my cell multiple times um so we can give retailers information the whole purpose of our program is to help people come into compliance with information first and we really want to be proactive instead of reactive um so i just wanted to you know let the board know how we've been operating and 
in the um, on February 10th, we went in the store. Um, we were doing the compliance check, everything, and we noticed the gold right away. Um, the inspector Jody Bergenti um, completed the inspection and then um, went over um, over it with Tonya. And in the, I'm not sure if you guys have the violation. So there's a picture of the product, and the, you know we always take a picture of the store when we get there. We're on um, state issue. Um, iPads that have geo tracking and satellite stamp timing so they always have us take a picture the minute we open up the inspection we have to take a picture outside that satellite time stamps it and then it time stamps the picture any picture we take in the store um, uh, Jody went over this with with Tonya um, and they had a discussion about it and she you know agreed to remove it but at the end of the day it turns out to be you know, it's a state violation and it is a flavored, restricted flavor product. Um, the violation, um, it turns out to be the second violation because there was a previous sale to a minor. So it is um, a $2,000 fine with a um, permit suspension, a seven day permit suspension. That's very thorough. <laughs> and I appreciate the thoroughness of it. What is the issue with flavoring? The state of Massachusetts, under um, the governor, declared it a state of emergency: youth smoking and vaping. So years ago, the FDA banned flavored cigarettes, and all of a sudden, flavored cigars came up. Communities started banning flavored cigars. Now, flavored vape came up. So it's cheap, sweet, easy to get. Is the tobacco industry's slogan to try to get young people to use nicotine because older people don't decide to start smoking; younger people do, and it becomes a lifetime habit. Um, so. The governor declared a state of emergency in the fall of 2019. They raised the age to 21 on January 1st, and then effective June 1st, 2020, all flavored products, tobacco products and nicotine products, and vape products, regardless of nicotine content, are prohibited in the state of Massachusetts. So you can't sell. So this is a violation of the state law that gives the local and local boards of health are supposed to enforce it. They gave me to you as a free resource. Um, any fines or penalties collected goes into the Douglas Town Fund. So um, for us, you know, it's a lot more work for noncompliance. Our goal is just to have our education work and, and hopefully that there is, isn't mistakes. We have three stores in Douglas. Uh, Tonya's store has had some violations, but it is a cooperative store. I don't think it was um, intent. Normally we find these products hidden in a drawer, hidden in a backpack, hidden in an out-of-order ATM machine, Slurpee machines where you pull it down and it's supposed to be extra cups. This was just right on the counter. I don't necessarily think um, it was a case of in intentional noncompliance, more maybe after discussing it, maybe not really paying attention, but I'll let her, her talk about it. Um, she does have four or five different tobacco vendors. Um, one of them she thought she got it from was Cormark. And they have blocked it off my 46 towns. They have blocked it off. You, Cormac is a publicly traded um, on Wall Street. They do everything they're supposed to do, and it's blocked off. So if you try to order this product, um, it's not in their order queue. But she did mention that she has, she might have mistakenly said Cormac because she has four or five other retailers, yes. that, uh, distributors that. And if you're buying from a distributor from Vermont, or you're buying mm -hmm. from one from Rhode Island or California, they may not pay close attention to what they can and can't ship here because a lot of flavored products are called strawberry banana, but now they call it sunset haze. And then you're like, oh, is this flavored or not? So there's a lot of components to it to figure out if a product is flavored. There's over 80,000 tobacco, vape, cigar, um, smoking products. So the state law requires the manufacturer to give a letter that verifies that these products aren't, aren't flavored. And then if we think the manufacturer isn't telling the truth, we can um, follow a testing protocol and find these products. And then in that case, we educate the retailers they can't have them. And then in future inspections, um, then they'll get cited for them. Because if they had a letter and they thought it wasn't flavored, um, you know, we can't find, we don't, we don't want to find anybody if we don't have to. So the issue with flavoring is that it, makes people more likely to smoke is that the issue it makes it makes um the the studies have shown conclusively mm -hmm. that it does encourage the the nicotine user to continue using but the flavors is what attracts your okay. 13 14 15 year old who now becomes a lifelong adult addicted smoker 
because they did it when they were young and didn't really know better and now I'm an addicted smoker and one of the things that I I liken it to and I ask people think back on anybody you know who smokes regardless of what age they are let's just say they're 21 to 80 how old were you when you started using nicotine and tobacco products nobody says I was 25 I picked it up when I was 30 98 percent of them will tell you they started between the age of 12 and 17 um, so vaping now has you know smoking went down and now vaping has kind of taken um, the nicotine vaping has taken a hold with um, the youth so the, all the efforts are to prevent the next generation of smoker to try to get if you don't start you won't have a problem stopping um, it's penny wise pound foolish because if you can get somebody to not start or you can get somebody to effectively quit it's long-run term savings we see on the other end for the medical medical the high cost of medical care so it's all part of the prevention um, strategies that the state has had and interestingly enough we have a new governor and this governor has not lifted they continue with the um, state of emergency ban so these penalties went from 100 to 300 dollars to 1,000 to 5,000 and it's state mandated fines a board cannot lessen the fine they can only do more than um, but then they let each town keep the fines um, because that's how serious the state feels the the crisis is with youth smoking and vaping Jim, you're very clearly very vassal with all this information can you review with me one more time the timeline of it was okay and then it was tested and then it was Pro the information was provided to the vendor to the yep. sales yep. From that um, I don't think I caught all of the detail on that so um, we did inspect in inspection during COVID yep. um, we did education and inspections during COVID during COVID um, whoever housed you was the city of Leominster is my fiscal agent and you had to follow whatever the protocol was so city of Leominster took the stance of we're not closing everybody get all the PPE you need mm -hmm. and get out and get to work mm -hmm. so that's what we did during COVID so we still did in-person inspections mm -hmm. but when the town was coded red red and um, yeah. yellow green if you were yellow and red we took we might not have come if you were red but we came when you were yellow so we still did inspections. so um, the, these this product the fusion product came out during COVID as in and we call it a whack-a-mole product so you no longer can have flavored so now they're going to come out with this they call it fusion and the flavors are coffee um, alcohol one of them is a berry one of the fusion lines is a berry I think one is a vanilla product but now instead of calling them vanilla they call them dream fusion is the mm -hmm. the vanilla one gold fusion might be the stout one mm -hmm. so um, we suspected this product to be flavored um, when it first came out so we fought we took a testing protocol that is given to us by the State Department of Public Health and we did the sniff sniff taste and um, advertising tests and all that so we, we did all the online research on the product and we determined it back at this what I had is I emailed every board and said each individual board can do this test with us or we as your tobacco agents can do the tests and apply it to all our towns all of the boards responded by email you do it and apply it no one asked for the boards to be doing this test so when we did it it essentially we did it for all 46 towns so all the neighbors of Douglas are complying with it and cannot have these products either um, we have Oxbridge Northbridge Southbridge um, Sutton um, as well as upper I'm pretty much 46 communities in the central mass upper and lower um, so we crafted this letter and we mailed this letter on the 22nd of September okay and we um, emailed it to everybody who had had an email address on their permit we mailed it to every address that was on the permit holders permit application and then we hand delivered it to the store over the course of three months between like the mid September into the end of November beginning of December um, all my agents went out to every store hand delivered it explained the, these are the new things you can't have them everybody signed that they had it then in FY 20 every year we do a fiscal packet and we go to the store hand deliver it go over it we go unannounced on a Monday Tuesday Wednesday when the store isn't busy nine to three o'clock we try to stop in stores if there is a customer we step aside and let them wait on the customer and then we go back to going over it um, we ask the owner or manager or whoever whoever's in the store that we're going over the packet with you know do you have any questions we go over each page briefly 
Do you have any questions? And if you do, here's our number. Our number's on it. My cell number's on it. They have business cards. Call. Sometimes the agents will call me from the store with the store manager to get clarification if it's a question that the person doesn't ask. So um, they got notified in person in the fall of February 22, plus a mailing and an email about the Gold Fusion product. And then um, the signature sheet, it shows you um, for FY23, it was um, on 3-28-23, March 28th, the packet was given with a similar letter for the updated letter that in all of our letters talk about the Dream Fusion products and the Backwoods products. And then again, so in this visit, she did not have any fusion. So when we were there on 3-28-23, she signed for the packet. There was no, illegal, no products that she mm -hmm. wasn't supposed to have in the store. Mm -hmm. And then um, when we went back on February 9th, um, she did have the flavored products in the store. So, um, and we have them signed. We have them, we do ask for the database and put their name in the database, but whoever we speak to, we always have them sign that they received the packet for the store um, so, they, so they know that they have it. It's, you know, education is a real important component to what we do. And we always say public health is supposed to be helping people come into compliance, not catching people in non-compliance. And we really go to great lengths to make sure people have the information that they have. I will have to say, Tonya and I have had uh, conversations about these packets. And she did say that she has received um, the packets in the past. But she has talked about how they're pretty lengthy. And you may not always have the time as a manager to read it all. But well, um, to be yeah. honest, I half the time can't even get help behind the counter. Um, uh, when they had showed up, I had received this. Um, at first, they, I thought it was two because the woman had these two backwood. She had both of these, and here's the letter. That's why I got to hold the core, core mark for this one. Backwood white was on my list. Here's my list. So I highlighted it. So at first, we thought it was backwood white also. So I highlighted that because I was going to present that also today, stating about the backwood white. Um, now, I guess, I'm not sure if it's part of it or not. I removed it from the shelf. That's the Cormark one. I called Cormark. I said, listen, I don't know what's going on with this white. They call this a launched cigar. So it gets four shipped into the store. I don't ask for it. It gets four shipped in. So I called Cormark and like, Tanya, they hit all last doors. We don't know what's going on with this white. I said, I'm pulling it. Can you pick it up? Well, we can't. You have to wait for a cigar rep. I said, you know as well as I do, I haven't seen a cigar rep since COVID. What, I can't keep this in my store. He's like, there's nothing we can do about this. Mike told me this. He's like, I don't know what to tell you. I said, well, they're all over me right now. It's like, not just you, Tanya, five other stores. I want you to roll it back a little. When this rolled out between menthols and tobacco and flavored vape, I had all of it. I spent 48 hours bagging it up, taping it up, sending it away. Honest to God, a couple days later I'm driving to work, marijuana is legal in Massachusetts. And I think to myself, that's how much they care in my mind, but I'm going to give 100% because I don't smoke marijuana, I don't smoke cigarettes, and if this is what they want, I'm going to give you 100%. Well, they come, now, they, she's 100% correct. This was, these things were here on the bottom shelf, where, here's the register, you turn around on the bottom shelf. So now, New England distributor, this was supposed to be something on the list. Dutch Master Palmer. It was a mispick on the 8th. Um, I got full credit on it by that distributor. I have three different tobacco distributors. I wish I only had one hat, but I'm cashier, I'm manager. I am putting away three times a week three different warehouse orders, ice cream, dairy, big gigantic bulk things of all kinds of groceries I am giving a hundred percent I am against everything all of it I agree with her 100 percent 
Now my company comes down from New York. Now everyone knows this is the third buyout I've had. I've been there for over 30 years. For them to drive from New York to come see me, and they're like, Tony, $2,000? They want to pull out license for nine days? Add up $3,000 a day. I said, listen, you tell me you want to clone me. You wish you had a hard worker like me. I give you 100%. These things happen. I don't wear one hat. I have help wanted everywhere. That was an accident. And I don't think it's worth me losing my job over. But at the same time, I understand where they're coming from. That's a big hit. We gave you 2000 They expect me to run their business. And I did have that. That was a mispick. It did get picked up. It's tough. There's the list. Here's some more of the list. So first they're saying this is okay. Then they're saying it's not okay. We cracked it open. We burnt it. It's hard for somebody like me to keep on looking at these lists and having somebody come in between me running the register because I cannot get help and say, here's your packet, let me look around. And I do call her to say, I sent back Naughty, which is a organic wrap that's okay now, but I'm so afraid I might miss this letter or email. I said, I'm sending it back, take it now. Well, we're not supposed to, I don't care, you take this. This is not under the cigar department. I don't need a cigar guy to come in and sticker it. I want it out of my store. Take it. And those white backwards, are they yes or no? The white backward, because that, that was part of the right. at first. We've discussed this multiple times. So and you and I have discussed it on the phone at least four times. You were, did not receive a violation on the white right. backwards. But you that's received not what a I'm warning. You. Can I sell they it? they are not legal, and we've talked okay, about that so four they're, times. I'm asking you. Yes, they're, they're, they're flavored they're, products, and so they're not legal. I, but okay. And you and I had a conversation last. That it seems like you're confused on what you received your violation for. So we went over it. No, no. On four I just want occasions. them to realize how yeah. confusing it gets. Well, for me, because I'm constantly having to look what the state has decided to break open and sniff and say, well, gee, this smells like cinnamon now. I know it was on the list here, but it's no longer on the list. And I got that, but th these two things were a mistake. Well, one was a, one wasn't a mistake. One, one was a forced shipment, a launch of the Backwood White. It got forced out by Cormac. I didn't order that. So I am told that I have a block. Well, now you're giving me something. And now you're saying, well, we decided to check this thing out, which I totally respect. You're going to check it out because I would not want my granddaughter ever having any of this stuff. Let's break it open. So now I'm calling Cormark and they're like, we don't know. We don't know, Tanya. I'm like, well, I got to do something here because I'm on the line. I'm on the line $3,000 a day. That's what I'm going to lose between cigars, <coughs> chew, cigarettes. And our store took such a bad hit when they removed menthol. They removed menthol, but you can go over to Connecticut. We know how far Connecticut is. You can go over to Rhode Island. So that's what people do. That Newport person we had goes over the state line because we are five minutes from Rhode Island and Connecticut, correct? Mm -hmm. And I'm against smoking, but at the same time, people are going to smoke and I'm going to sell it. I have no choice. And I respect everything you do, but I'm very, I get confused. And I will be calling you. Right now, I was going to call you about Crave, because I don't know if that's okay or not. No, you can't have flavored Crave. It's not flavored Crave. Oh, clear, clear. Clear Crave. Because um, I don't know, and I've been yeah, asking I'd everybody. have to see the packaging. Okay. Um, because the FDA found Crave in violation of saying it's clear, and it turns out to be flavored. So, the so FDA what has, do I do? The FDA has banned a whole bunch of them. I, I can't this tell you until you show me I what it is. I will show you. It's yeah. a clear Crave. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, clear, I'm clear so Crave, going to ask Crave comes in 42 packages. So how clear can, if it's not, it comes in 42 different color packaging, and it says There's Crave my world clear. right there. Do you see um, my there's world? There's over 80,000 products. Yeah. There's over 80,000 products. So... You know, we work real hard with education as and the much fines, as we, we I mean, can. it's like you said, I didn't have it hidden in a slush puppy machine, and I didn't have it hidden. I can name places, and I would never do that, that people buy stuff. I would never do that. I don't break the law at all. This was an accident. 
and this accident might cost me my job. And as you said, Tony, you might as well had all these cottons and Newport cigarettes because you're being violated the same as if you had all this back there. Tanya, and that's not right. Let me ask you something. Why will this threaten your job? I feel that they came down, they were upset. They paid me to run their store. This will be probably $24,000 if you pull my license for nine days. But they don't know what goes on in your store? So of course they do. They have a, they have a bunch of stores. Well, they go and sold most of their Massachusetts stores because of this. They expect me to run it properly. This is my mistake. I own this. I did this. There was something that was sent that was a mispick. I didn't order it. It was supposed to be Palmer. It was a mispick. And then the other one, now we're not being charged for the other one because they've decided not to charge on that one. But I can't sell it. They didn't say they were going to fire me, but I feel that there's a chance I could get fired. Well, you, there's always a chance that anyone, anybody yes, can get fired. Yes, exactly. For something <clears throat> that was an accident. Yeah. I don't feel the store deserves to lose their license for nine days. I, I, I believe that from what I'm listening to here, is that you have a lot of support. I do. I do have great support. But I'm still, like right now, I'm still scared to death. I'm ripping everything out of there. And mm -hmm. everything I rip out is part... We struggle for the business. We practically give our gas away to get people into the store. We don't have a Dunkin' Donuts. We don't sell hard alcohol. We have a, I don't know if you, I know you guys all have probably been there. We have the worst parking lot to get in and out of in the world, you know? And now we're understaffed. So I really am doing the best I can, but and I will call her a hundred times because I'm so afraid now. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm afraid of everything that we have because the list is constantly changing. Well, it, it isn't constantly changing, but the Dream Fusion has been on the list for the last, since 2022. Yes. Um, the acid products in the letter have been on there since 2020. The Backwoods products just got added and they're made by the same company that makes the acid fusion. And just to give you an example, um, Backwoods White used to be White Russian, alcohol flavored White Russian. Back White Smooth used to be their Honey Berry. So what they did is they just kept the ingredients and changed the name and threw the product mm -hmm. out there. And this is, the, this is the manufacturer, not the distributors. Mm -hmm. um, so we went through the testing protocols and found it uncategorically <coughs> flavored and they removed it. But I just wanted to address a couple of points so it doesn't get confusion for the board. Cormark is publicly traded. Cormark does not sell the product that she got put in and they have not sold it in three years to our, com it's our stores. It's a mispick from another state. Yeah, no, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. Um, and then um, Cormark <coughs> does offer the bold white and black because the company gives a manufacturer letter, but if a board of health says you can have it, they just have to show the sheet that says they can't have it, and Cormark picks it up the very next time they come to your store. So if you have Cormark come every week, they'll come next week and get it. If you come twice a month, they'll come get it. They don't do a special trip. So we have in our protocols, and we've had for since for four years, if you have a mispick, the protocol is you contact us, you tell us what the product is, you wrap it up and put it in the back, and you label it for distribution pickup, do not sell. These products weren't down under the counter. They were A customer could see them on the shelf they were both open and they were both the both being offered for sale they, there was no sign on them saying miss pick dis dis well, delivered and you and i have had four conversations right, and right, today is the first time you're calling it a miss no, pick. no no so no I just, no no i'm talking about this one i'm not talking about the i'm not talking the about the backwoods no okay the i'm not talking about the backwoods i have the documentation not the backwoods right that's no. that's the product right no here, no no i'm talking about the fusion was the a fusion. You, right, you said the fusion was a mispick. Yes, no, the, back, the backwoods is not a mispick, it was launched. Right, but the, in, the backwoods, the backwoods is not, we don't even need to discuss it because you didn't receive a violation for it. What you received a violation for, and all the reasons right. in, that right. you the told me that this happened by mistake, you never called it a mispick and you never followed the protocol, the mis 
mispick protocol. So kind of today, I think it's misrepresenting. I, it's a mispick when there's a whole protocol for it. Well, I do that's feel not that poor, that's not from Cormac. That's no. It, you you told you called me back when we talked it over, and you said that the that the you got this product from another store who told you you could have it, and I said that no. you can't have it, and I we went no, over no, the I whole. Got paper. No, no. Yeah. All right, um, we're so gonna we're gonna agree to disagree on right. that because I called Mike. I think you're confusing Mike's boss, who called you and thought it was from them. I said, no, Mike, the backwood is from you. Right, but it's, it, we confusion. don't have to go round and round because no. the backwoods. We don't even have to talk or look at the backwoods. But it's the just background the information because there's no violation. It, but there was. Right. We can only talk one at a time. Right, it's because my they turn. They can't hear us both. Right, but so. it's my turn. You had your turn. And in the beginning, it was backwood and that. They were both in the okay. beginning, all right? right? In the beginning, it was both. Mm -hmm. And then you took backwood <clears throat> off. Mike's boss called you and said, I didn't get fusion. I said, Mike, I didn't say the fusion was from you. The backwood was from you. I have a pickup from the company that did the mispick, which was, a, a, we have three right. companies that I buy from, Cormark, Capital Candy and New England Distributor. I'm not going to go in circles. I appreciate everything okay. you do. Right. It was there because I wanted it picked up and I didn't realize. I've been following everything and maybe I missed something in the packet stating that you now wanted it wrapped up, put in the back. Because those backwards are still in my back room and no, Cormac has not picked it up. I'm still w waiting. In the back room on a shelf are those back woods, and they're still there. Well, you're going to want to wrap them up and put a sign on it because it's another violation if we come in and see it. I'm um, about so to just take them and throw them in the trash because I'm trying my best. So, see, you have these rules, and you say Cormark has these rules. Well, everyone has to all do the same thing because I called Cormark, and they're still sitting there. Yeah. And, and again, they're not here to speak for themselves, but Cormark's version of the events is different than yours. And I don't want to dispute that. I feel like what we're looking at right now is what the, it doesn't matter how come it was in your store. It was in your store behind the register for on customers to purchase. On a for sale shelf next to other products you were selling. Well, it wasn't by itself. No, wasn't no underneath. it wasn't because we got it the day before with a yeah. gigantic order. Yeah. Shoved it there. And one day... I wish I could just have one job, but we have these orders. Comes in on the 8th, milk, ice cream, dairy, all the food in the store. So while that's coming in, shove it down there, do all my stuff. It was an accident. And I appreciate everything you do for me, but it was an accident. That's what it comes right down to. And I do appreciate your job and everything you do. Um, I'm to the point of probably not going to have nothing in that store because I think if anything comes through Miss Pitt or a launched item or whatever it is, it's always going to be something. So I'm probably going to keep it so tiny in there now that it's going to be ridiculous because I can't keep on, I can't afford these hits. You know, it's, it's hard. It's an expensive you have, mistake. It's a very expensive mistake. It is mistake an expensive that, mistake yes. that was a mistake. There really was a mistake. It wasn't like I had them hidden. I don't hide nothing. People beg me all the time. Oh, can you get me? The, no, you're not worth me losing my job. No, absolutely not. I have no compassion because I'm not a smoker. So I don't have compassion for people. Go to Rhode Island, go to Connecticut. And she is on my side, but it's a hard hat to wear with this Massachusetts program they have, you know? And it, it, I try to do my best, and sometimes I laugh because after all this, I'll, I'll watch kids come in stoned all day long, and I think, why is Massachusetts doing this? Why are they letting this if they care so much about the young people as they hop in their car? Can I have an orange zigzag? And I think to myself, we're doing our best. Okay, you can't be selling an orange zigzag because you can't sell flavored papers either. Orange so. zigzag is a flavor. Oh, it's okay. a orange oh, zigzag. Okay. No, if they're, it's an orange box. Orange zigzag. Can I have a pack of orange zigzag? They're not flavored. Okay. It's an orange box. 
Joan, is, is there um, any kind of uh, database or something where somebody could enter in the UPC code or something or the name of it that could be looked up? So that way, if you received something, you could type in. Um, is that, so or is that something that all could be considered? Uh, I don't know about all her distributors, but I do majority of them. They they block off what you can't order in Massachusetts because most of them are New England or national. So they have to have an order for Mass, order for New Hampshire, an order. So they usually block block off products that you can't have. But there's mm -hmm. a lot of small distributors that just come by in a truck and with a little thing and go buy off my truck. Mm -hmm. um, there's all kinds of different um, different things like that. But um, they do have a UPC code and things like that. And when they order them, the reason why um, the law. So instead of her and I trying to figure out what's flavored or not, the manufacturer has to attest that it's not flavored and if we find the products we found flavored it's under attorney the attorney general's office review and they're going to go after the manufacturer for verifying they weren't flavored when in fact right, they way. are so th that's in these products that we're talking about are under the attorney general's investigation right now um, so you know if you're asking the purpose of the manufacturer letter is is it's just like if you order a pallet of Coca-Cola and they send you a pallet of Moxie, you're looking at your order and you're like, you sent me the wrong thing. I didn't order this. You call Coke and say, come get your Moxie. I'm not mm -hmm. selling it. Same thing with tobacco. It doesn't matter if you ha your store only sells 10 products or your store who sells a thousand products. When you get that order, you're supposed to be looking at everything you're getting and the law says it does not make it to your for sale selves without um, this mispick. And then if you have it in your store, it's if it's even in your store in the premises, one is um, selling it and one is offering for sale because the the law believes if it's a, in your store for any reason, you're selling it out the back door or you're selling it to regulars. And we find hidden product in the places you wouldn't even imagine or or believe. So, um, you know. So again, but it, it, you know, again, the education was here. The products were not in her store, and then they came back in her store and. You know, um, I mean. Now, Mike, I want you to know, I ordered last week um, Backwood Black. Mike called me up. He said, Tanya, that's going to come through, and I want you to know something. They're going to come in, and you're going to get in trouble again. I saw, I ordered it for a customer. He's like, it's going to come through, Tanya. Yeah. Well, and I have to say, I, I don't know who Mike Mark. is because I deal with the regional director, but the regional director said that you had a customer who wanted the fusion, and they wouldn't, they told you that they couldn't sell it. In Dudley, and he thinks she went and got it from someone else. That's what, what the regional coordinator said. What regional coordinator? The uh, regional coordinator for Cormac, not Mike. Mike's boss. Well, I'm going to say. So it, it, you know, I again, but I, really it's not fair to get into he said, no. she said because well, Mike's not here what, right. well, and that Richard's never not happened. here, so we can't. That never happened. Right. But we can't verify what other people I'm said you when right they're not now. here. Well, you so. better bring him here because but now at, that at, is. Yeah. That is but illegal to say something like that when that never happened. Well, at the end of the day, you have an illegal product for sale behind your counter next to all your other products. Yeah, that but you that were never so happened. It, it doesn't matter how A it person left from there. Dudley that wanted the fusion, that never happened. That is a bold lie. Okay. Complete. I s no. Well, we no can't, rather than we can't testify each other to what here. Mike's told you <clears throat> or what somebody yeah, else said because neither one is here. Lie. Well, wait a minute. So. Rather than attacking each other here, it right. seems like board is out of the, the, the ball game here yeah uh, well it, it, I'm just trying to clarify I understand yeah, but, but let's you know let's do it in a, in a that will be correct. addressed in by Mike right. well, I, I will take care of that because yeah. that's not right that's a complete bold lie okay that's very I've never disturbing spoken to Mike. I have never spoken right but to for Mike, his so boss to say that that will Mike. be addressed with my company they might be dropped mm -hmm. all of Cormark because I'm gonna let them know that that went down that Mike's boss said that. That will, uh, this is on TV, correct? Yes. That will be addressed completely. That's so wrong of Mike's boss to say that, that yeah. that will okay. be taken care of. Okay. Um, I'm mad about that. Anything yes. else that you'd like to say? Or? So we had a first violation that she was found, the store, not you personally, was no. found responsible for. It has a two-day continuation. So for today's violation, mm -hmm. she paid the violation. It's been taken responsible for. So there's not, there's no issue because the violation is paid. They took responsibility for it. And I did speak to um, someone called me from your company, and they told me that they were going to pay it. 
so that it was I paid it yeah I you, wrote well for the company I write out all the yeah checks. so they said that I they were not up. that they were going to pay yeah. they yeah. said that they were going to pay the test so the the company okay. took responsibility okay. for it well, which means the two day has to be served okay. and for a second offense of a um, state violation the minimum of one day it's seven days because we go by what the regulation says but the board can go um, a minimum one would a motion would be to serve it all serve part of it serve one day the board could say you have she has to serve at least one day because she took responsibility so we're looking at a three days suspension um, she's talking about nine the board could continue the remaining six without a finding to be served if there's a third violation in a 36 month period um, and then she would have to serve it before we go on to the next violation you could say serve one day um, the, the two days in the one because you have to serve the, the previous and add the one and then you could say waive the rest of it or you could say we want you to serve you know the two you owe and half of this one and so you have options mm -hmm. of what you want to do um, moving forward I do feel like we're at a place now where there's been a lot of education um, and I get a little, little concerned because we're here for her and we I told her we could come out with an no iPad remove everything you think you shouldn't have in your store and we'll go over thing with a fine tooth comb mm -hmm. and if you happen to have something you shouldn't we'll let you get rid of it because it's a proactive move mm -hmm. instead of an inspection mm -hmm. um, we offered that to her um, and I think she said she was gonna you know take us up on it um, and then we could you know work with her mm -hmm. um, but I do have a little bit of concerns because we do this for 600 stores and we have a very small per percentage of stores that are still putting these products on the shelf and you seem like you're confused so we need to figure out how are we gonna get you on board because if you're in charge with the store you have I'm to know how to sell the products that there. yeah I'm just taking and, and I'm taking everything out of there yeah because we're willing I'm, to work with yeah. you to show you what no. you can legally sell I'm like and what so you disturbed right now about that other thing. yeah it sounds to me that you're, you're trying to move in a positive direction yes. which, which yes. is good because yes, absolutely you know, the, absolutely she's trying to help and yes it's and yes. I, I, it's not because the way I look at it, and I, ho I don't know, I'm speaking for the board here, but the way I look at it is that that's a positive thing. That's a positive yes. move. Yes. Uh, she's not, she's reaching out to help you, which to me, uh, that's right. no, Nobody easy. feels good about. No. It's not something that's that she did. That's the least favorite part of tobacco control's job. Right. So. You, you, you know, it's understandable that you'd be upset, but. Uh, you didn't do it purposely. No. Um, nonetheless, no, nobody it was implied you did. No. It just no. I, I didn't yeah. mean to. No, to but there was an impl uh, implication of Mike's boss saying that, which is very well, upsetting. Regardless of okay. that. Right, right. Regardless. And of that that. Wa that wasn't my point. My point was we can't give testimony for people that aren't here because right. this was mentioned to me, and I'm not putting right. it into testimony because, you know. Right. You That's know. all right. We'll right, right, I'll right, talk right. to so my we're company. moving in a positive direction, in other words. And, okay. You know. And I, come, Dick? If I understand you, minimum three days, maximum Nine. two mm -hmm. plus seven. Right. Okay. Right. And that's something that has to be. The three days has to be. Because right. she took res the the company took sure. responsibility and you waived the two days pending another violation. They paid the second violation, so it's not a question of is this did this happen or did right. it not happen? Right. It's a, it did. So the three days is on the table and it's not. And we're not even making a motion for responsible because they already took responsibility. It's a motion on the suspension because that's yes. what she's here for I is the nine days and, and I have to be honest with you this is the busiest store in Douglas and a nine day suspension could be business crippling yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, but the next one is a 30 day so it, it, it if you have a state violation in a 36 month period so we want to work with her to not get to the right. the 30 day we usually as a board we usually end up uh, you know kind of looking at the business sense of it and saying, yeah, we don't want to crush anyone. We're not here to do that. And she's not here to do that no, either. She's, she's here to help you and yes. I can see that. Yes. So if everything's moving in a positive direction, everything sounds good, um, I think that's the best way out, don't you? Yeah, I, I would make a recommendation that, you know, she has to serve the three days and that you could continue the remaining 
five without a finding. No. Five, nine, six, six, seven, six, six, seven. Only seven. 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 One of the seven. I'm sorry. So yeah, six. six. The remaining six continue without a finding. Um, mm -hmm. My concern about finding are not responsible at all is there's a little bit of confusion and there has to be some responsibility about Absolutely. making sure. Yeah. I'm going to pay a lot more attention because I don't want those six days to come back on the books. Yeah. And I do. I honestly believe after talking. Um, multiple times with you about this that it just a lot of a lot of wheels are turning in the store and a lot's coming in and going out and it was yeah, it's a know. small area and yeah it's a busy area yeah or, or you might have a smaller distributor that had it on your list and you're not remembering it if you can't have it also I, I have I have seen myself and maybe everyone else but I have seen trucks pull into that area and they're trying to move the product out as quickly as possible so they can get the truck out of the way because right, the truck right. is blocking. Thank you. It's a tight. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Right. So um, it is It is a difficult situation. Right. but So I, I'm comfortable with whatever you decide on um, the remainder six days. Three have to be served because that's, that's mandated by the law. Okay. Well, how is the board? Are you willing to have them come in and do the no iPad? Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I think that should be part that's of it. That. That's not. That's not a not a problem at all. I get <coughs> yes one minute, no the next minute. Do you know what I mean? I get confused because it gets forced in, and then it gets taken out. I'm not talking about the fusion. That was a mispick. But I do because as quick as it comes on the shelf, it gets pulled off the shelf. Mm -hmm. So yes, I don't have a well, the, problem. So the reason why I asked earlier about the UPC checking or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I understood that. That would be nice. Like I, I'm sure that most of the products are sort of like, these are our you know regular products that we always get, that we know are in compliance, that sort of thing. I, I would think that the extra things that come in that are sort of a new product or whatever should be reasonably few, you know, few so that we were only checking those, you know what I mean, like you're only worried about the small percentage of yes. non-regular products. Yeah. Except that right. things change, right? Constantly, the wrapper yeah. changes, yeah. the name changes, yeah. you know, and I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> I really am. Joanne, can I ask you a question that's not, I guess it's part of this, but what happens to those manufacturers who are continually changing and, and trying to stay ahead of there's not that many of them, and the attorney, if, if at the end of an attorney general um, investigation, mm -hmm. they, they get hit significant fines, and they could be prevented from doing business in mass. And I, I see. It's, it's really not it's not fraud. worth it. Yeah, it is fraud. Yes, of course. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so I mean, they're, they're, that's, that's, that's the mean. next level up. For and, sure. And, I know it's um, not. Yeah, but. so it, it, it's kind of we do our, our part, part on our end, and then any board can determine and do the protocol and say in my town. But what I, we did it, we asked the boys to allow us to do it because if Douglas says, oh wow, this really smells like cinnamon, but your neighbor says it doesn't, now right. it's bad enough that we're bordering with states, but now we have, right. Right. this town can have it and this right. town can't. Mm -hmm. um, so we were very pleased. We sent that letter back in the <coughs> fall of 2020 asking boards, and I had one board say they wanted to do it, and when I explained the whole protocol to them, they're like, no, forget it, you do it. So um, it, it just made it easier. But we go out of our way to educate, and one of the things that I will strongly suggest is there's one letter that you get every year that lists the product on one page. Keep that red, that letter, because everything else has to have a manufacturer letter, but these products, you th these are the ones that um, people get fined the most on if they if they're if it's accidental, we get we find a lot of intentional, like I said, hidden in draws, hidden in out of order ATM machines. That's intentional, but unintentional. These are, that's why we give that letter every single year to remind them on the fusion. Now the clarification point, if I may, yes. the items that are at the attorney general's review area, the, the, the attorney general is looking at, are stores allowed to sell them until the attorney general makes a decision? No, um, if we declare it locally and did the local testing on it, um, they can't sell it in your town, but maybe somebody else can sell it in the town in a board or a town that didn't do it yet. Mm -hmm. But once the attorney general makes a determination, then it's banned statewide. So right now, it's my 46 towns, but maybe a town outside of Boston 
doesn't have a tobacco agent and the board didn't doesn't know that it's flavored so the products can still be sold if there's a manufacturer letter until it's been determined yeah, those are some weird gray areas that, yeah you know. that must be yeah I, i'm i'm solid in it because um the H itg who makes dream fusion and makes the backwoods line they are the third biggest tobacco company and they're right up there with rj reynolds and philip morris mm -hmm. and they have for three years i removed these products from 46 three cities and 43 towns and they call me periodically and they just have willingly removed them from my area they have not filed a lawsuit so I'm very confident in our testing protocol and and uh, this testing protocol comes from the state it's not like we decide <laughs> you know you have to do certain things and um, the other thing is is we look for these products and we look how they advertise them in other states um, and then you can find right. you can find the ingredients what what is yeah. in you know what not so uh, I'm pretty confident because I've been around for 30 years and I've been in with multiple boards and we've been sued. Athol was a landmark case um, that went to the Supreme Court about smoking in private clubs. Um, so we're not afraid of lawsuits and we've, we've never lost. Um, because nobody wants to do something that we shouldn't be doing. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. want to regulate one product that I shouldn't be regulating. But what makes us go is schools will say, we confiscated this, we confiscated this. My parents will call us and say, I found these products in my kid's room. Um, that's how we know mm -hmm. it's it's a flavored product. Are you looking to take up smoking? <laughs> he's well, he's 17. <laughs> you ready for a motion? Yeah. Yes. Are we, we ready a for a motion? Yes. Do we have a motion? Yeah. I move that we suspend the license or whoever does it for three days and the six days is waiting for the next in okay, so problem. So three days. Three, three, days, the three days that are required. Okay. And the six then becomes on the wait list. Okay. Hopefully never to be used. Right. But with the caveat that the store has gone through and Right. The pad thing. The, yeah. The, the, edu yes. the yeah. educational, um, yeah, the educational only. I think visit. that has to be. Yeah, I would yeah. I'd like to put that in there too. Okay. That it, I would love to have that. Yeah. Okay, can we have a second on that motion? With the inclusion of the. With the inclusion. Yes, the I will second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Right. Could we okay. have a complete reading of what we just made the motion on? Yeah. So. So we have. Not no. Okay. So. <laughs> To, so the motion was passed to for a two day of the previous that had been continued uh -huh. suspension uh -huh. plus the one on the new mm -hmm. six to be held in without finding for now. Also a non non informal uh, inspection of the store for products in compliance. Okay, so is it's Can I get all that? Okay. So the, the language is the six days to be continued without a finding, yes. pending no other violations in a 36 month period. Yes, and the 36 month period starts when? At the beginning of the first? No, at 36 months from this violation, which was, I think, February 10th. February 10th. Okay, so the so clock is starting as of February 10th of 2024. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. it's black back clock, but it's from it's always the thirty six months is from, from the, the current, current violation. violation. Okay. Now, how do I know what days those are going to be? Those three days. I was just going to ask the board if we can set them April nineteenth, twenty, and twenty first, and she can resume on the twenty second because we're already in the area for other permit suspension should inspections. Be, should be fine with the board. Nineteen, twenty, and yep. nineteen. 20 and the 21st. Okay, and why don't we get through this motion here? We'll get sorry. Through, I'd yeah. like to get through the motion. Yes, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, that's okay. Um, so, <laughs> we have a problem here. Okay, go ahead. We have an English problem. Oh. Memo dated February 22, 2024. Third paragraph, last sentence. This suspension begins Friday, March 8, 2024, through Saturday, March 16, 2023. Um, it was lifted anyway because she had a, um, it, that would be considered a typo, not a, uh, a processing error, okay. but 
that whole date is lifted because she requested a hearing, so it's reissued here. Yeah. You know what you do, Dick? Yeah. Cross that right on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fine. Okay, so do we move to second the motion? Yes. Dave did. Dave did? Dave okay. Did All in favor? Aye. Okay, the motion is passed. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. She'll also receive a hearing outcome letter and it will tell the dates and tell you okay. what you have to do. It'll give instructions. Right, right, right. And we're not we're not looking to put anybody out of business no, or I anybody know that. lose their job. I know that. It's been so stressful for me. Well, of course it is. We understand you know. that. We we also understand that. So uh, good luck anyway. I know, and I appreciate everybody here, and I love the town. So thank you. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. You know how you can thank us the most. <laughs> Nothing personal, but we don't want to see you. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love your beautiful faces, and I feel the same way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, can you sign that before you leave? Oh. Thank you. And and that thing, I'll get the when I'll, we'll do the pad thing. Yeah. Um. Uh. Jody's off for a couple of days, so when she gets in the office later in the week, I'll have her contact you, and she'll okay. set. Okay. You know, maybe sometime that's convenient and we usually try to do those on your slower days and if you have any employees you want pleasant there present there um they can come to okay that would be a great opportunity to get really organized yeah you know yes thank you so much absolutely <laughs> thank you john thank you thank you john nice meeting you yes you too i think okay. I, I i guess we did meet you uh, on Zoom, it was a Zoom meeting, but okay. the good news is, is we there's not a big non-compliance need to come to Douglas, so <laughs> yeah. um, I'm happy about that. Yeah. Well, Thank you're you. a good resource for sure. That's yes, very good. Thank you. Okay, we can move on to uh, transfer stations. We have uh, VP trucking. Uh, then septic system pumping. Uh, let's do one at a time here. We'll do the transfer station uh, contract with BP. Now, we're still up in the air about, you know, we wanted to make a few changes up there. We mm. kind of, I guess, I don't know if it's a matter of dropping the ball or whatever happened, but it just it seems like we can't get anything concrete and, and, and um, design or whatever the case to put those two compactors in there. You know, I know you met with them, Dick, right? And where did that go? Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah? It's on my list. <laughs> okay. That's the answer. It's on my list. <laughs> okay. I've, I've got... I, I, I'm not... I've got four items with Matt right now. Yeah. And they're all on his list. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a patient guy. So in the meantime, we have a contract extension for one year. We do. Yes. Yes. Yep. We do yes. Can you tell me what the hauling number is for the previous contract? 185. So it's up to $10 a load yep. more. And I, yes, <coughs> added at 120. Yeah. So we're handing them the contract again for another year because we come down to not knowing what direction we're going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's kind of difficult because um, <coughs> it's like these are the these are the people that we're contracting and we're telling them or they're, they're telling us what they want or how they want it done and giving us a figure and we have no other place to go but there so that's not good <laughs> so we have to get ourselves in a better position yeah. down the, down the road um, so I'm thinking of <clears throat> Dick <laughs> Just to work off your your list, hmm. 
I'm thinking of getting a hold of Gary again. Not to take all the people up there, but you have a background in this, so you and I will meet with Gary and discuss our options and, and maybe present them with, say, a three-year contract if they help us go th get through this deal. Mm -hmm. And then after the three years, it, you know, we can go whatever way we want. <clears throat> maybe put it out to bid or something like that. But um, so you'd rather not go out to bid after. Well, we won't be able. We have to do this contract. <clears throat> yeah, and we're going to do that, right? Yeah, we, we so have to. I don't think so have once, a choice. Once no, we're we into the contract, you do not wish to start talking about bids coming in early next year. You want to wait three well, years. Well, the reason I, I say three years is because they would help us out to get this, you know, this done. <clears throat> in other words, we need their help to get this put together the way it should be. Electrical, we need concrete pads. We need, you know, we need some help and, and, and say, hey, what do we need? How much is it going to cost? And this way, we, we throw them a bone by saying, okay. we'll give you three years guaranteed. Right. How does that sound? Otherwise, it just keeps... Right. Yeah, right. otherwise, we just keep going away. Going. Yeah. And he just throws out a figure. Yeah. And, and this, is, this <coughs> is the third one-year contract extension, right? There yeah. you go. So at least if we can right. nail him down to something like that, we've got, you know, it, he has incentive to help us, mm -hmm. and we certainly have incentive to, you know, move yeah. forward. Yeah, he did bring in his guys. Yeah. And they yeah. did make some proposals. Right. But we never went no, we anywhere from there. So yeah. I don't think he wants to do that again. Right. Until we're ready to do it. Yeah, yeah. Seems reasonable. So maybe even talk to him on the phone. He's been there. He knows what it looks like instead yeah. of pulling him. From yeah, I could. I could yeah. easily. Talk maybe do to a him. conference call. Or something. Yeah, and then he would probably have to come down and, lay, and give us a layout of sorts. You know. Well, he knows the layout by heart. Yeah. 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 yeah he, he can do it in his sleep. Well, maybe he can send us just like you say. Mm -hmm. We'll do it over. You know, whatever. Over candy. <laughs> Okay. So that's that. So that's that. Do we need a motion to accept this contract? Yeah, we, we could do that. Yeah, we could do that. Do you have a motion that you want to propose? Unless you want to speak to him and see mm. if we can sweeten it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I got him down from 200 to 195. Bring him some of the candy. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't, well, yeah, I, I don't mind talking to him. Um, in fact, I can do that. I, you know, I'll give him a call. Maybe, and tell him uh, what you're thinking. Yeah, yeah. We can do that. So we're a table table that for right now, and we'll yeah. Well, maybe if yeah. he, you know, if he knows. Yeah, we it's can. It's gonna be a longer contract. Yeah. He might do better on the price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But with, with the with the uh, idea that he's going to help us right. do the, the layout here. Yeah. You know. Will they do it? Will they I can, subcontract I can, it out? I don't know. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna talk to him. Yeah. I'll call him. Uh, I'll call him this week. We can talk to Bob Nart too. First, maybe. Mm-hmm. What if he's got the same idea Gary has? I don't know. Well, we can find out. Or maybe he should be on the call too. I don't know. If he's got time. I don't know. Yeah, he's on some other project. He's very yeah. busy. Yeah. I know. <laughs> where did Where did this contract come from? This contract <coughs> proposal. I call Gary. So it's nothing to do with Matt? No. No, because no, we had to do something. Because budget's coming, Gene's yeah. like, I need numbers. And I yeah. said, well. Yeah. OK. That'll get us through the year. Yes. You know. But so I think he's, so he knows that, like you said. Yeah, he, he knows. He knows. I mean, he, he's got us in his back pocket. Yeah. So, <laughs> so mm -hmm. as soon as you finish with Gary on this discussion, yeah. this then we can talk to him seriously about compact. I'll, I'll, I'll call him on Wednesday. So we're still thinking two compactors, right? Two more? Yes. One cardboard. plastic, one cardboard. Do we, and don't we need to replace 
one or both of the other ones? Because I, I thought one of them was on the fritz. Maybe that would be part of the new contract, too. Let's get new compactors. Well, one of the two compactors was mm -hmm. not doing so hot, yeah. as I recall. No, that was, it, it's the hydraulics, but... Yeah. But, um, Does it need to be replaced? This, the, no, it's, it seems like the oil has to be replaced. Oh. Because it seems like there's a water mixture in there and yeah. with the oil. I don't know if it's condensate, uh, condensate, I don't know. Mm. But it, it's not compressing the way it should, like oil, mm. normal oil. Mm. So um, they took some water out, but they didn't take it all. I think the thing has to be flushed out mm. completely. So if it's a, do we need to make a motion to table this? Until I'll mention that to him mm -hmm. uh, when I speak to him. I'm going to use this for the budget, okay. if it's better. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, so I, I don't think we need to motion make a motion. Uh, so we move on. We'll leave it. Okay, so to be continued here, right? Yeah. Uh, septic system planning, you had mentioned. Okay. Yep. I talked to Ben. Yeah. Ben's whatever. Yeah. And 450. 450. And if you didn't catch it before, it hasn't been pumped in, in 30 years 30 or whatever. Years yeah. Or so. So can I make a motion to? Pump the septic system at the mm -hmm. transfer station. Sure. I'll second it. After okay. how many years? All in favor? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Just do it on the day I'm down with. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do it on Saturday when I'm there, please. When you're not in town. Okay. Uh, stickers. How are we doing? Stickers. Stickers. <laughs> oh, it's me. Eleven. I think we sold eleven hundred. So our usual is thir 13? Yeah, but we're, there, we're still selling a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. And there's still, still quite, quite a few in. out there. Yeah, right? because they're turning them away. Yeah, I, so as a quick little test, mm -hmm. I did not put my sticker on. I did the on. same thing. I did mm -hmm. the same thing. And they oh, stopped yeah. me. And yeah. they stopped me. Yep. yep. And they were oh, extraordinarily good. polite. Mm -hmm. <coughs> they were extraordinarily helpful. Mm -hmm. oh. They all had a great attitude. Good. The two Lou's that I, that I spoke yeah. to oh, while yeah, I was there. Great. Yeah. So I. Nothing but praise on that. I, I purposely left my sticker off to see if somebody would say something, and they good. did. Excellent. No, did Excellent. <laughs> That's good. Thank you for that, Dave. <laughs> and I asked oh, questions. They said, they said, oh, they want, me to they want me to ask. I said, who's the they? And they said, oh, the Board of Health. I said, That's great. Great answer. <laughs> great answer. Great. So there's been a, I don't know if you remember, before we put the license plate numbers on the stickers, we started doing that because people were Moving buying the them for, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they're still doing that. Mm -hmm. They're just, they're not putting them on their cars, mm -hmm. I guess. They're not adhesive, yeah. using yeah. adhesive and putting them on their cars. Yeah, sure and they're they still they switching, because I've had two people come in saying, I know people that are doing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very frustrating. Mm -hmm. So they have to make sure the sticker is stuck. And if they mm -hmm. don't want to stick the sticker, then don't get one. Mm -hmm. Well, if they don't put the sticker on the window, they don't get to dump the, the trash. I mm know -hmm. oh, some people don't like to stick it on their car. Yeah, well, too bad. I like the sign. No sticker, no dump on the So, Dick, digging it's into your like list, mm -hmm. we have radios. I don't know what happened to radios. <laughs> yeah, you were going to tell your list. Radios, I, I gave you recommended radios, and you said, I'll go buy them. No, I thought we were going to call someone. <coughs> I thought we were going to call. Call who? <laughs> what I did is went on the internet and said, tell me the 10 best or whatever number of radios. Yeah. And read the descriptions of them. So I'm, I'm not a ham radio guy or anything like that, but, um, you know, I think, I don't think we need you know, this is a pretty small yeah. Oh, yeah, distance yeah. area, so oh, yeah. I think we could probably just buy a couple of a handheld off the shelf. I don't think we need like a Motorola. Nope, need a handheld off the shelf. Yeah, rechargeable. Where, yeah, where, three year this, warranty. Was yeah. this Amazon? Is that Amazon? Prime shipping. Uh, it could have been Amazon. Mm -hmm. Do you have it yeah. still? Do you have a, maybe a brand? I mean, we could get those tomorrow. Right. Right. You know? right. I thought you'd order them. I really did. Yeah. So you have the list. You don't have the list. So I don't remember that. So I, I feel like I feel like we did talk about asking somebody about radios or some point. We, I, were, yeah. we were talking to the, the company that has the town radios. Yeah, right. But they were three hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah, we don't. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, there was, there was, I remember there was a discussion about like, can we like contact the police department or something? There's a phone line, right? Oh, because right? of channels and to make sure that we don't interfere. Yeah. And all oh, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <coughs> that would make sense. So, should we just make a motion about purchasing off the shelf radios up to a certain dollar figure that's yeah. Yeah. reasonable? Just a two way radio. Yeah. That's it. Right. That's I think you could probably get away with like four, you know, because they usually come in sets of two, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. Probably get four, four of them. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Good for, yeah. And then they can communicate. Set this charger, they can use that. Yeah. Yeah. Can I give you a quick background? Ham radio operator taught advanced theory to the people who needed to move up and things. Mm -hmm. a degree in electronics. So I read this stuff. And mm -hmm. So you will pick the good quality stuff. For good price. Do you need the information again? <laughs> I can do it. I'm just going to go on and tell yeah. have it tell me the top ten again and pick that one. It was okay. the top one. Top rated. On Amazon or just online? Yeah. You can do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I My wife is pretty good at that too. I assume. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, checks coming. I assume we have sufficient funds to cover both the septic pumping and the purchase of the should, radios. Yeah. I'll I'll check if we should. Yeah. I think these are. I also recommend that she buy three radios, not two. Oh yeah, no, I think well, I said four. four. Yeah, I think four. Yeah, sets of two. Four. Four. Yeah. Yeah, I, they don't come in. I don't think they come in sets of two. Okay. Sometimes. Oh. So yeah, I have a set. They're also two, but. Yeah. <coughs> long range, no. Yes, long range or not? Mm. That's a long, long range. Yeah. Probably, not. Probably not. We're talking no more than like thousand feet at all. Mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I'll have the information for tomorrow morning. All right. Thing. I was just thinking, like something like that. Is that what you're thinking? There's that. I think that there's. hundred forty-nine. No, the I think it's 62. 62? Oh, yep, this is the, I put the best handheld radio. Hmm. This one. Yeah, some of them had a problem. There were, there were two bands you could be on. Uh, and 50 miles, I think we got that. Oh, yeah. One of them <laughs> you was go to Westfield. <laughs> <laughs> What's I mean, that? Once, once I do that stuff, I guess you, I wipe it out and move it on. Yeah. Waterproof. <coughs> yeah. yeah. It should be, yeah. Yeah, the one I picked yeah. up dropped 10 feet underwater, still okay, so they say. Well, that's in case they fall into the septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> no, we leave them there. <laughs> you can get six for a hundred something. Rechargeable? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is all Amazon? Yeah. The batteries with them, so no, you don't want that. Anyway, speaking mm -hmm. of batteries, speaking of batteries, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do we want to leave it at research, and we'll yeah we'll vote on it next next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Batteries. We'll we'll have Sounds a like a plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Batteries? Is that what we're shelving here? Or? Radios. No, um, radios. 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 We'll just can we just get we're getting the radios. We'll just get the radios. Yeah, yeah. we we'll get you information. Yeah, just, just that sounds radios. really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, batteries uh, still huh. pretty the much the same. Is interesting. What an adventure! It, ch it changes. And you know, if you go into Staples, it's the same box 
same company that we've been dealing with. Same really? box. And you get them there and you just put your batteries in. In Auburn, they give you credit for the number of batteries you bring in. They were in Auburn. I, I don't understand why. Staples. Oh, Staples mm -hmm. in Auburn? Yeah, in Bellingham. They don't? They just said, put the box over there. Which is fine. Well, maybe we discussion. just refer people to go yeah. there. Yeah, instead yeah, of yeah, yeah. Just That's tell people, bad. That's yeah. the best if you have batteries, you can go to Staples. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't be here. Free of charge. I think it was a nice thing, but it's yes. it was nice when we were four. Yeah. yeah, no, no, right, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you, Staples is fine. Yeah. I mean, people yeah. They're and everywhere. Staples does not require that you put them in a plastic bag or put tape on the terminals. But they had us do that. Same company. Yeah. Same company. <laughs> That's bizarre. That's bizarre. Strange. That's bizarre. That that That's strange. So just refer okay. people to refer Staples. To yeah. yep. For the Staples in Auburn, yep. they yep. rip a bag off and say, whatever you can put in there, those are the ones we'll take. Really? Right. Drop a car battery in there. <laughs> 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 no, they do have some ones. If it fits and chips. I, I, I've been accumulating tractor batteries, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have um, security cameras. Is that on your list too? <laughs> no. That's but my we, list. We went list up a year ago. Yeah, I thought they said a, after April or something they were going to. So. The parts are going to be 600. The camera is going to be 300. So anywhere between 900 and 1,000. Is what? IT going to pick some of this up? I don't know that yet. I thought they were. Been, originally, that's what they said because if you wait till April, we'll be able to get you. A, and they may be getting the cameras. What's that? Than like 4,000 or something we were talking originally? Yeah, but you're like 1,000. Yeah. That's for each camera. No, that's for two cameras. What, you would Two cameras. You would mention piggybacking the Wi-Fi. So, Dave, the RIT guy, Dave and Tony, will piggyback from the fire department the internet, so that they can be. How do you get more range like that? Then it's more live, or whatever, so you can hop on and look. Or it's better to be on the internet mm -hmm. than... Yeah. Well, yes, but I'm what I'm thinking is... It would cost us nothing yeah, because right. the fire department already paid for it, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, I guess that... I, I don't know enough about it to be very yeah. honest with you. But so we don't need to upgrade the memory system? I don't think so. We're going to go right into the fire department and use their memory system. Mm -hmm. I guess so. So, yeah. The memory that we had up at the transfer station is like three terabytes, which is monster mm -hmm. storage. That's well, it, uh, if it's connected to the Wi-Fi system, it's got to be going into some sort of the cloud somewhere, right? Yeah. No, like, is there a, is there a, uh, some kind storage, of a transmit, online transmit storage it? system that it's going to be tied into? I, th I, I guess it's a question All for IT. very good questions. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we need to watch it for some period of time, whether it's one day or two days or a week. We need to go back and look at So that's got to be in there, too. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you, does, do you save it? Yeah. How do you save it? Well, in theory, it should be saving it. You know what I mean? Like, it, I, whatever the timeline, you know, if we save it for 30 days, we save it for yeah. whatever. In theory, it should automatically. It's do like it. if we're like a ring camera at home, you can go back right. and look at the history. It's right. all. It's not down. To the system that we must have had before was like stored on. It was. It was not. A, yeah. Yeah. So now it would just be in the cloud. Right. Wherever the cloud is. Yeah. <laughs> but we no, need I, we need access to it. Right. Well, that right. yeah, that's the question for. And the question is, do we go to the fire station to get access, or is it back in it's the? All very good questions. Mm. No, I think I think the fire department would only just be access to the Wi-Fi to the internet. I understand. But then whatever the system the camera goes to is would be separate in the again, theoretically. Mm -hmm. Really? How do they do that? Whatever the system well, that's is. That's that's what we pay the IT guys big right. work for. <laughs> because it's no difference on sharing your cable with your neighbor upstairs mm -hmm. or something. Right. You can't see what they're doing, but they're just using your right. just using it for the internet yeah. access. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they have good signal. <laughs> Not around here, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah. it's awful. 
I get bumped off every, <laughs> almost every time I go on. I don't go on that often. But. Okay, so we have that out of the way. And uh, this, uh, is, this is, this is, this is, are we going to review this? Yeah, we can review that. I didn't have it on the agenda, so yes. Yeah. What's this repair up there? Oh, that's landfill. Mm -hmm. We still have the tonnages if you want to look at that. Tonnages. Oh, the tonnages. Tonnages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're looking pretty low. Well, no. So that four, don't disregard that. <laughs> because <laughs> BP came back with the, one of the compactors that was half yeah. full of cardboard. Yeah. So when Lewis, being Lewis, looked in it and saw it was half full of cardboard, he called BP, but they didn't pick it up till the next day. So meanwhile, Scott from BP said, oh, don't worry about it. And Lewis said, well, we have to use this compactor somewhat mm -hmm. today because we, we need to use it. So he said, oh, you can just use it for today and then we'll just credit you everything because it's our fault that it came half full of cardboard. So they used it and then we get the BP bill and they charged us for the tonnage. Uh, who was that? So this is to? this is n we're not being charged for this. For the four oh six. Yeah, that's disregarded. How about the seven forty one? Yeah, those are seven eighty eight. Those, those, those are, are those are low also. Yeah, yeah they are. That I can't. I have no explanation. For yeah, them. I think it's that, that's the eight com compactor. Which is weird. I thought it was B that was usually. Yeah. I thought A is the one that's <coughs> having the the problem. No, it's B that's having the problem. It's like somebody else is running the system to say Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I was told A when okay. I went there. Because I asked specifically, which one is the one that... Well, that's not the one they were working on. They, they were working if you were, on If you were driving through, the one on your left or the one on your right? If you're driving Like through, as you're going to leave. Yeah, well, the one closest to there. Yeah, that's A, right? That's B. Okay, so somebody's got it backwards. Yeah. yeah. I was told that one and it's A. Oh, B is the one closest to the yeah, yeah. Okay. You got a lot of new people there. Oh. <laughs> if you I got an answer. <laughs> <laughs> it was a 50-50 shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just think the numbers are looking that is anemic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, Even the one reason, I'm not sure. Though. Not really sure why. Hmm. Have to uh, look at that. Maybe if Dick took a look at it. Well, Dick would know. Yes, he would know right away. I'm just guessing. Okay, what are we up to here? Landfill repair update. You gave, uh, me, yes. you gave me too many papers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't. I have more than two papers, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's over. So we paid Bruce the $4,400, and he. I sent you all the plan, you can, I don't know how to read it, that he had done from the surveyors. Right. Um, so now, I guess next step is he's going to figure out what, where we go from here with all that information. So I'm, I have to go to the finance meeting next Tuesday night because there's going to be another mm, $8,600. How many? $8,600. Well, I'm right glad I have class on Tuesday. What's, <laughs> what's the difference between... Thanks. <laughs> what are we buying at $4,400 and what are we buying 44 at 44 was him hiring was the, plan. the surveyors and doing the plan. Right. That was 44 8600 is to fix it. 8600 is to figure out how we're going to fix it now. Wait, wait, wait. Figure, figure out, out how to fix it or <laughs> fix it? Um, I don't think it'll be 86 no, to fix it. No. I thought the 44 was to figure out how to fix it. Completion of all work identified. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, he's going to develop an estimate of cost. Submit everything to DEP. I think what happened mm -hmm. is the survey is the guy is just doing the numbers yeah. and laying yeah. it out 4,400. Yeah. Now we're back to 
the guy that we well, hired. Well, they laid it out, then they gave it all to him, and, and he created the big And now he's got to do the big plan. picture and to it past, get it past the EP, and that's the 86. Work under this assignment shall be invoiced in a lump sum for completion of all the work identified. The scope of work outlined above shall be completed by Langdon for 8600. The cost of preparing permit application, if required by Mass DEP, or documents for public bidding of the construction work, if required, for the work is not included in this letter of agreement. Mm -hmm. All right. So it does look good. So the letter we're are waiting for the big number. <laughs> <laughs> the letter yes. agreement also does not include any work related to fil filing the permits for approval of the Douglas Conservation. That's never going away. That is never going away. Langdon, this, this 8600 is they will develop an estimate of cost to place the fill, including all site improvements and construction requirements. Then they'll present the conceptual plan and the estimate of cost to the Board of Health. Unknown. So here's what he's going to do. We're in the wrong business. He needs, <laughs> he needs three feet of gravel. And then he needs some topsoil seeded on top Didn't of he, that. He said it was a huge Done. area. Didn't he say it was a very large area? Yeah. It is pretty good size. Like an acre good size? Uh, but he yeah, said it was... Acre. I wouldn't be surprised. Could be an acre, yeah. I walked the periphery of that place collapsed years yeah. ago. How many ticks did you have on you? Yeah. And when I get down to this area... You don't want to ruin the... I quickly moved away from yeah. it. I moved uphill because I was sinking. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's some spots in there. Yeah. Because I did the wells. I went around checking all the wells out there. Yeah. And uh, I tried came to back do with that. about 5,000 ticks on there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta, they have to be careful whatever they use on this and everything, yeah. how they're going to get it there. <laughs> you got to be careful. Quickly, you mentioned ticks. Quickly, yeah. I was in the woods yesterday, so when I get back, I type on the computer. What is when when the tick season start in the northeast? Way started. You know when it, it never starts. Ends. It it's all January. 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 Essentially, yeah. Mm -hmm. January first. Yeah, I think it's all yeah. all year. The winds are. They're active as soon as they get warm. Yep. And it's been yep. warm. Yep. Okay, so ever. moving ahead. So yeah, so we're gonna ask for that. It's gonna go to a special town meeting to get the 8600. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have. There we go. Uh, we're, uh, we're gonna be faced with this annually now. No, I think once it's fixed, it'll be fixed. No, what I'm saying um, is the um, the testing. We always have the testing. Yeah, but is it gonna be? Well, he does the landfill to? inspection. I think once, either once a year, or once every other year. Okay, so this year he did the landfill inspection. Yep. So this, he's been watching this area for yeah. a while. Well, I'm sure the rain's not helping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Last year was so wet. Okay. Yeah. Well, we have uh, our nurse, and she would like to give her presentation. So it's same thing happening, like nothing, nothing, you know, nothing big. I still get like mm, notifications about the flu cases and. Mm. Uh, the town and this year was bad. You know, we took our masks off and the flu was, I don't have to do anything with it, but I just get notified so I can see the numbers. Mm. Um, and of course I see already Lyme disease also. Oh, you're seeing Lyme? Yes, yeah. I get the notifications about the Lyme diseases too. I did have a tick this year. A little, little. Mm -hmm. You gotta be so careful. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like a speck, you know. Uh, but I think I, I should move to the next uh, point because that's really uh, goes together. The mm -hmm. public health officer job description. So this is something new and this is just a title, fancy title. Um, so... We like titles. <laughs> <laughs> so just to help you understand what's happening here. <coughs> so we are in the need of a food inspector. Mm -hmm. And we lost Daniel who was really good. Uh, and. The uh, region is looking for a new, hire someone else, but it's not that easy to, to replace her. And we got, like we talked about this before, that the, mm, 
the recommendation is that every town should have their own inspector, and these people, our original inspectors, they're just support. They're not main inspectors for the town. So uh, I am willing to learn. I, I'm willing to step in and have and learn that because this is something new to me and take some classes. But when we went to talk to a town manager, he explained to us that I cannot have two positions in the mm -hmm. town, like being a health inspector and being a nurse. Mm -hmm. So it's possible for me to do it both, but it has to be combined. Yeah. And in this case, the title has to change. So he came up with this fancy name, public health officer. And he said, this is, and this will allow me to do both, you know, and be under, under mm -hmm. one title, have uh, full, full both roles. <coughs> So my hours won't change because I'm in training. Uh, I will train uh, training with other inspectors. I'm taking some classes. I still will be doing my nursing job. Uh, I'll be learning the um, food code, which is my priority because it's a lot and I want to know what I'm doing. Um, I also, there was a suggestion to do like for me to, since this is like such a health um, officer position, to eventually maybe l when I'm also, you know, understand the food code to learn the housing code. Uh, code. We have Bob, who is our primary uh, housing inspector, but just to be backup. You know, so we have someone if uh, Bob is away or he cannot do it, have it, have it someone. It's not going to happen in the near future, and because it's hard to learn. But uh, I'm willing to learn. That. That's why this will improve. You know. Uh, first of all, I am a nurse, then I'm full inspector when we need inspections. We don't have that many, so. And when the need <coughs> arrives, you know, in the future, when there is a need for it, I, hopefully I will be able to help with the inspections uh, to, su to support Bob or, you know, mm -hmm. to uh, help him when he's not able to do it. So that's all. Okay. Um. Did I miss anything? Did I confuse no. everyone? It would be a great <laughs> asset because we have so many people come in. Mm -hmm. yeah. you now we have the farmers right. market wants to start up yeah. again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to go through all those applications and figure out. I mean, I still have a Dan. He can teach me so much because he has a good knowledge. Like he mm -hmm. is really smart. He knows that. Mm -hmm. And there is also like a program for house, uh, not for housing, for food inspections. That if I am appointed, I can take. Um, like uh, classes and training and shadow other inspectors in the other towns. Mm -hmm. uh, so now like, there is money for it. There are grants for it when they want to train new inspectors. Mm -hmm. So I want to take advantage of it. I think it's nice to not have a regional person. I think they did a beautiful job. But I think it's the town, you know, mm -hmm. where you live, where yep. you, I think yeah. that that is important. And they really were for backup. Yeah, for we, sure. we all use them. Of course. Like more than you yeah. know, and all yeah. those other towns, they have their inspectors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we were only ones who, did, we had just only Bob, but we didn't yeah. have really, we were not using anyone for f food. Right. Well, my specialty is not in food, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. I, you, know, I, you have other specialty. I have, you know, my plumbing, of course. Yes. Uh, licensed plumber, but um, also with, in the building trades, they kind of cross each other, you mm -hmm. know, like, uh, a lot of the health code is in our, our code. A lot of the um, even electrical code. There's some electrical code in our, our code. Uh, so they do cross cross link, I guess. Uh, and that is connected. Yeah, yeah, you do. So I, I'm very comfortable in that position anyway. Uh, like you had mentioned, if I ever need a backup of somebody that mm -hmm. wants to step in. I don't know if anybody would be interested in taking that, but. Yeah, that, and I want to take advantage of the you know, available mm -hmm. trainings for free. And like I said, this is a special state program where I can sign up mm -hmm. when I'm appointed. And, and I said, you know, it's good to have someone like, you know, just in case Bob cannot do it or mm -hmm. our inspectors cannot do it mm -hmm. and we need someone you know, like we the recently, come up, yeah. was the last Friday was a situation when yeah. there was the need for an inspector to step in. It fizzled out, but 
It was uh, actually it was Thursday afternoon. Yeah, and Thursday afternoon. Like, oh, Thursday. Bob's not here. Oh, <laughs> but it ended up being nothing, anyways. Yeah. Thankfully. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. You can always reach me. We were at school. school. Oh, just school. Uh, I see like that. So I know. Kind of late in the evening when I'm there. Yeah. So I said well Friday morning, but then nothing yeah. happened yeah. with it. Yeah. So. So that's the situation there. Um, Any questions? Mm -hmm. Okay, Uh, we didn't have anything coming up uh, over the month, though, as far as uh, aging is concerned. Really, no. No, And can we just add something because we skipped 1.5? Oh, we did? Oh, yeah, regional. So just today, so as a region, we just hired someone new, which well, really excited because we met this girl today she's like a social worker for our towns oh, really? and she will be the person who will be connecting people to resources mm-hmm. and she has a very good experience with hoarding uh, also like with uh, with disorder like people mm-hmm. helping people with hoarding disorder heavy content right now mm-hmm. this, this is a term and mm-hmm. also with um, <coughs> she worked for Tri Valley for some time mm-hmm. before so she has understand how it works and understand the, the whole and she has connections mm-hmm. and right. she she lives here in Webster but she grew up in Oxbridge so she knows the area very well area, yeah. <laughs> and she came to visit us today oh, nice very pleasant interesting person and we are really excited about her now she's from the state the she's no. from no she works for the region like for, for eight towns oh, okay. yes yep. oh. she's got hired hey. she got hired she's like outreach uh, person, outreach. Yes. Good yeah. Yes. Yes. And she, her knowledge is like really like she worked with all kind of Children people different ages, yeah. uh, teaching uh, mm-hmm. like the drugs prevention, all their like she's comfortable with people yeah. and very yeah. pleasant yeah. and uh, enthusiastic person, like young beautiful girl, mm-hmm. no lady I should say young yeah. lady. Mm-hmm. Very well. Resources are always okay, so yeah. 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 This is as far as the health agent is concerned, there really isn't anything going on right now, but it'll get busy because yeah. we have pools to open Summer's up. Summer's coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. We have Camps. a lot of things to do there, mm-hmm. so camp, yeah. And talking about pool, Bob, there is an interesting training this coming Thursday about the yes. inspection of pools. On, online, you can watch. Like oh, okay. Uh, but uh, also uh, that uh, meeting on the 22nd? Yes, yes. Am I signed up for that? No. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> do that oh, yeah. Yes, I'll oh, be yeah. here tomorrow. So we'll, we have to write it down. But, you know, this one is on No more Easter Thursday. money for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give it back to you. <laughs> is that the one that was in, it's in s- on three Saturday. different towns? So we have to just send an email to to. No, that oh, it's, it's, it's out, out in Marlboro. Yeah. One's Marlboro. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah, you're another right. One, there Taunton three, there or something like that. Taunton. Okay. Yes, yeah. two, two dates, right? It's two different dates on two separate dates. There were three different dates, I recall. Okay, maybe. Yeah. So I said, okay. sign me up for somewhere else, Taunton or something. Oh, you don't want to go with that, huh? You said that. Yeah, in an email. Did you really? We have to write I really did. <laughs> <laughs> We're having too many senior moments here. Mm. <laughs> Scare How old are you? She's not going to say that on the record. Yeah. She has a longer <laughs> list than you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 For a Saturday class? It was a Saturday? I believe so. Yeah, it's a Saturday class. I believe so. Marlboro is Saturday, but yeah. I think they all... There was another one? Mm-hmm. There were three total. One was Boston Way. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Which one did and you want? And the other was the end of April, the one I thought I'd want to go to. End of April, so. So we'll have to do research, find mm-hmm. the email tomorrow. And I shall send that to you also. Wherever it is here, who's here? Did you do this one, public health officer? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is the job description. Just you talking about me? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just wanted to make a comment here. 
it seems to me like that just stops and it needs something else behind it. <laughs> he read that whole thing down. <laughs> That's why I call him the fast reader. <laughs> Which one? He does. Oh, he the second right bullet. Out. The second bullet. Oh. On the Just front of the back. Just to use cases. Oh. Oh. I mean you sitting right there. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing investigating reports cases uh, and just to public health? Wherever it is, yeah. yeah. Why it needs uh, right what needs to mm. more? Public health. What's probably, that? Probably Department of Public Health. Yeah. Massachusetts yeah. Department Maybe. of Public Health. Maybe. Mm. Um, NADPA. So it may be a person. No, but dangerous to public health, to the health of the public. I think yes. that makes sense. Shouldn't be on. Yeah, camera. that makes sense. <laughs> because yeah. I, I, they report, they will really report to me. Right. I don't right. report to them. Mm. Right, but they're yeah. talking about yes, yeah. I but I don't know whether sense. that's a department or a person no, or whatever. No, it's just the no, then just the public. Of the public. public. Okay. Yeah, I think it makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too many papers, Kristen. Mm -hmm. Too many papers. Almost done. One more thing. Yep. Just three people once. Yep. Okay, review of bills and warrants. Notice what we spend every month at BP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's actually been pretty low. Has it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. Well. One month was only 14. Really? Yeah. Is there, a, is there a difference between BP and BV? Yes. Black oh, Black Valley, Valley is the glass. Recycling. All like cardboard, mm -hmm. paper, plastic. Okay. You know who's there running the Bobcat? No. <coughs> Chair of the Board of Health. Blackstone? The chair of the Board of Health. Is I'm doing something to that I don't know. <laughs> 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 well, you might have a new job. Oh, great. <laughs> I didn't get that, but... <laughs> you know what a bobcat is? I know what a bobcat is. Well, he's out there running the bobcat. <laughs> Who, who's that? At Blackstone Valley Recycling. The Recycle Center of Blackstone. The chairman of the board is running the Bobcat. Oh, their chairman of the board. I'm saying you. Oh, no, no not you. You're off the hook. Okay. Uh, so we're all set with bills and warrants. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about uh, any uh, open session time here? Any topics that you'd like to discuss? Or I'll just go home and eat. I think we beat it up pretty good. Another meeting? Sorry. Yeah, meeting. Oh, yeah, next meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Tentatively. Tentatively. Early. Well. Sixth. So when's the next date? May 6th or 7th? That works. Um, are you around? Yeah. yeah. That comes later, right? At, at, at the end of the month. Did we get a next meeting again? Yeah. Yep. The oh, May 6th. May 6th. Okay. Where was that? Okay. <laughs> Motion. Uh, second. 
I second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Meeting is adjourned.